Today we're going to be talking about the temperate forest biome, also known as the deciduous forest biome. In the deciduous forest biome, the locations of it will be in eastern United States, very southern of Canada, Europe, northern China, Japan, and New Zealand. Now, this biome is actually a lot more better than the taiga and tundra that we talked about. Here, more trees are able to grow and more animals are able to live here more comfortably. The winters are moderate and the summers are pretty warm. In the summers, the temperature ranges between 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. While in the winter, it, it ranges from zero degrees Fahrenheit to uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The word deciduous means to fall. Now, they're trying to indicate about the leaves falling off. The leaves play a major role when they fall off because when they fall off, all those um, decomposers start to break the leaf down, therefore creating nutrients. And this nutrients helps the plants survive. It's keeping the entire food chain in the, in the deciduous forest locked. There are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, there's only one season that grows in the deciduous forest, which is spring. And in the fall, all the leaves start to fall off. In the winter, the trees start to get into this dormant position. And also they have these thick bo like barks so that they can still like keep warmth too. And in the summer, they basically just try to create energy in photosynthesis. A lot of animals live in this biome compared to the taiga and tundra. Some animals I can give you are bears, hawks, salamanders, turtles, frogs. Different types of trees that grow here are the evergreen trees, the oak trees, maple trees, etc. So this is the diorama I created. I put bunches of trees. Um, I put kinetic sand again with also um, some animals, an alligator, tiger, and more rocks and trees. So some characteristics of the temperate forest or the deciduous forest. Some, some characteristics would be like there are four seasons in the, in the forest. In one, uh, one out of four of the seasons actually grow. The leaves are very flat, like these ones right here. And the soil is rich in minerals and moisture. In conclusion, this biome is very good. As you can see, it has, it has a wide population of humans, plants, and other animals living in it. And it has a, it has a key role in keeping the entire food chain locked up together.